everyone. This is the first edition of Sorted Out, a game that we're playing with Apathy is Boring in the RISE program. This is the fourth edition of the retreat happening here in Mono, Ontario. My name is Rada. I am an alumni from the RISE program in Montreal, and I'm really happy to be here with everyone. So the game is really simple. So I'm going to ask you guys four questions about the different rules of recycling in different provinces in Canada. So you have 30 seconds to decide if the item that I'm going to ask the question about is trash or recyclable. And once you decide what the answer is, piles up, 30 seconds. Are we ready for the first question? Yeah! yeah. So much excitement! <laughs> <laughs> Are we ready? I'm about to ask the first question. Brian Adams has a huge party in his backyard overlooking the beautiful BC mountains. While cleaning up the next morning, his assistant realized that the party was full of plastic takeout boxes and cardboard containers. So they know what to do with the containers. The question is, what are they going to do with the leftover food waste? Trash or recycle? 30 seconds. Compost? Okay. <laughs> I would say trash. Yeah. Yeah. Compost. I don't know. Compost. Compost. Do we know what he was eating? Compost. 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 Trash, 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 <laughs> trash. Time is up. And puddles up. Puddles up. Yep. All right. This is my province. I really hope it's <laughs> And puddles up. So we're saying trash. We're saying recycle. recycle. And the answer is, drum roll, is recycle. What? How do you recycle that? Recycle. Recycle, you guys. Recycle. Yeah. In BC, regional districts are responsible for solid waste management planning, and this includes managing food waste. As a result, many local governments in BC have programs such as, for example, curbside food scraps collection, and also they pick up food waste. Many local governments have also banned food scraps from uh, you know, going to the disposal. There is a local study on waste composition that demonstrates that there is still food that ends up in our landfills. And as a result, there is a lot of greenhouse gases that are released because of that. In BC, uneaten leftovers and spoiled food make up over 25% of the waste discarded from a household. Um, and when food is wasted, both food and money are lost. So um, that includes also the energy that is used, the water, and the other resources that have been um, used to produce the food that are wasted. Um, globally, one third, and I say one third, of the food produced for human consumption is wasted. It's a lot. It is a lot, yeah. It's estimated that the amount of food wasted in Canada is 31 billion annually. So, it's, uh, yep. I gotta do better. We gotta do better. Yeah. Think, Word. I hope some of these other facts are fun because that was just like hit me like a truck. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have uh, some, some better news here. Um, so in places like Montreal, Quebec, many uh, borough governments have adopted rigorous composting options for residents. Uh, that includes, for example, um, the brown bins and compost awareness campaigns in order to reduce food waste uh, getting in the landfills. And... Um, yeah, if you want to know more about what happens in BC as far as uh, food waste goes, visit www.gov.bc.ca. <laughs> Are we ready for the second question? Yeah. yeah. Make some noise. Oh, or not. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yes. All right. So, Tegan and Sarah returned to their childhood home in beautiful Calgary, Alberta to find their father using a gnarly 2001 desktop computer. 
After unnecessary 20 minutes of teasing, they decided to get their pops a brand new in with the time computer. How should they dispose of their father's old computer? Trash or recycle? 30 seconds. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, trash, trash, trash. Time is up. Paddles up. Yes. <laughs> All right. You both are right. And the answer is recycle. Both teams are winning. Great. Love that. Love that. Love that. So, um, Alberta's Recycling Management Authority subdivides their electronics in four sections. Desktop computers, we have portable computers, we have visual display devices, and we have printers. And fun fact, um, Albertans are, are some of the most dedicated recyclers in the world. Wow. Yeah. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Snaps too cute. <laughs> in 2017 alone, residents and businesses recycled 647,000 units of computer equipments and TVs. Um, so registered electronics processors broke down this material at their approved facilities right here in Alberta, um, separating it into various materials, um, so metals, glass, and plastic. And these recovered commodities were then shipped for manufacturing into new computer components um, or really industrial metal products. The environmental fees Albertans pay uh, when purchasing new electronics helps fund the cost to recycle them. Um, so for example, an old computer would cost you around $4.40 uh, in environmental fees. To find out more about this, head over to www.albertarecycles.ca. <laughs> so, the setting. Avril Lavigne is helping her best friend Alanis Morissette move out of her home in Ottawa. And um, so they're trying to be as eco-friendly as possible. Then uh, they're trying to find what can go in the blue bins and what can't. So can we help our homegirls uh, figure this out? What's blue and what's trash? First item. Are we ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. A collection of premium soda cans. Paddles up. Paddles up. Next item, star-shaped light bulbs. Paddles up. Paddles up. You are right. Oh, it is trash. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next item is a large collection of cute pottery animals. Trash. You are absolutely right. It is trash. Yes. <laughs> Another one. Her mom's wedding china. Paddles up. Paddles up. <laughs> Up. Yeah, yeah, it is trash. Yeah. Next item is take out containers. Paddles up. Paddles up. It's actually recycled. Yeah, recycled. Killed it. Yes. <laughs> Last question. A garden worth of pink plastic flower pots. Paddles up. Paddles up. <laughs> Recycle. Recyclable. Oh, so, <laughs> so, Blue Boxes made their official debut in Kitchener in 1981. Um, to today, the province's waste diversion rate for residential printed paper and packaging is actually the highest in North America. So, good news. Mm -hmm. Um, the administration and funding of the Blue Box program is shared between municipalities and industry producers. Certain items are hard to recycle and other uh, recyclable items don't have end markets, which means there is no manufacturers who want to use the recycled products in their manufacturing processes. Um, so as part of our market development initiatives, we explore ways of processing hard to recycle materials and identify new markets for recycled materials. Every municipality in Ontario has its own do's and don'ts when it comes to what goes in your blue bin. 
So to find out how to best use the glue bins at your home or work, head over to www.stewardshipontario.ca. <laughs> Last question. Are we ready? This is the tiebreaker, right? Listen, everyone is a winner here. (laughs) Celine Dion visits her home in Charlemagne, an off-island suburb of Montréal, Quebec. And at a cocktail party for the local school for singing like Celine, she uh, signs up for triage duty to encourage proper recycling habits. Can we help our national, like, <laughs> figure here? Is it green or is it trash? Are we ready? First item. So, a two-liter plastic pop bottle. Piles up. Great. Recycle. Recycle. Yes. <laughs> Celine's favorite brand of chip bags. It's actually trash, you guys. It's actually trash. Next one. Are we ready? An expensive champagne bottle. Paddles up. It is recycled. It is recycled. Could she get money back for that? Ten cents. Another one. A Titanic-themed paper party place. <laughs> paddles up, paddles up. <laughs> Actually trash. It's trash. It's trash. It is trash. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It's. Have you ever seen a party plate? I've never had a party. All right. Next question. Like, Stacks of US weekly magazines. Paddles up. Oh yes. <laughs> Next one. A tub of stickers featuring Celine's dog, Puppers, and Doggo. Paddles up. Yeah, it's trash. You're right. Trash. Yes. It's actually trash, you guys. Yeah. Okay. One last item, a mound of red, black, and white styrofoam cups. Paddles up. Paddles up. You both are right. It's trash. Yeah. It's trash. Yeah. You're right. Good job, you guys. Um, It's kind of sad. Yeah. Yeah. So reducing the consumption of non-recyclable material is where it all starts. So once picked up, the products of the green bin are taken to recovery centers for further triage. They are then separated into categories and shipped off to specialized recycling plants where these items will be renewed. Um, In Quebec, most plastic containers uh, with the number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 7 um, are recycled everywhere with the exception of beer cans inscribed with Consigné Québec um, that need to be taken back to their, to their detailer. And only very few municipalities will recycle polystyrene plastic material, so styrofoam or plastic six. Uh, so checking with your local eco quartier, so eco awareness and education hub, will help you recycle better. Quebec has an ongoing awareness campaign featuring Timmy. Uh, it's an adored Quebec sitcom character. and. It, they encourage people to recycle more with slogans such as Recycle today because we aren't ready to live on Mars yet! <laughs> uh, for more information, check out www.recycle-quebec.gouv.ca <laughs> Thank you. Well, thank you so much you guys for, for having participated. This is the first edition of Sorting It Out. Um, and for us as young Canadians, sometimes it can feel like a daunting thing to do, to you know, recycle and know where to go. Mm-hmm. Um, so it all starts by finding the information that you need. So don't hesitate to engage with your local governments. Don't hesitate to go to um, your local um, hubs, your community centers to ask questions because it starts with knowing what to do. And that's where it stops being overwhelming and where it stops 
it starts being fun to serve your planet because we're not ready to live on Mars yet. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't struggle, girl. We're the real winners. Yeah, sort it out. Yeah.